The following movie will give you an overview of how to use the rotary inclinometer. The rotary inclinometer is a measurement tool which measures the axle inclination of slow rotating parts such as rotary kilns during operation. It measures deviations in vertical direction with a high accuracy, which makes the alignment work much easier. To use the rotary inclinometer, follow strictly the local safety rules given by the respective plant and local authorities. The rotary inclinometer comes as a toolkit in a strong and tight transport case, which includes the following items. The rotary inclinometer itself, the heat shield, a shaft center adapter to reach into the bearing housings, a high range Bluetooth adapter for USB, a battery charger with different country adapters, and in the lid, the manual, as well as the software for Windows, the TomTom Tools Measurement Studio. As a first step, the Bluetooth adapter has to be plugged into the laptop. Then, start the software. The software screen is structured in the following way. In the top left corner are the main function buttons. Below is the window showing the connected tools and files. For the moment, the middle window shows the tool settings. In the top right window are the events and information about the condition of the measurement tool. In the log window below is the list with activities which are performed during measuring. And here will be displayed the battery status. Now switch on the tool so the green light turns on. Whenever the measurement studio is running, it is searching for known devices, such as TomTom -tom tools. If a TomTom -tom tool is detected, it will be displayed in the overview window under devices. To connect a tool, select it and click on the connect button. In order to perform the measurements, the roller shaft has to be accessed. When opening the cover, ensure to use proper tools and prevent any contamination of the bearing. Now, the inclination sensor, which is the main sensor, has to be calibrated on a rotating part. Attach the rotary inclinometer to the shaft center adapter and fit it to the kiln roller shaft. The calibration basically consists of two normal inclination measurements which are performed on the same rotating part, but in different directions. That means, for example, like here on the support roller, once on the uphill side and once on the downhill side. Click on the start button or press F5 to start the first measurement. The upper graph shows each measurement point from the sensor. The lower graph shows the calculated inclination of each revolution. After a few revolutions, the inclination value should become stable and the measurement can be stopped by clicking the stop button or by pushing F6. The sketch in the lower part of the measurement studio changes and indicates to place the sensor onto the opposite side of the roller. Remove the inclinometer carefully and close the cover in order to avoid contamination in the bearing housing. If the roller shaft is not accessible, the inclinometer might also be placed on the side surface of the kiln roller itself. Before doing so, make sure that there aren't any heat shields or scrapers installed on the roller. These could interfere with the inclinometer. Attach the inclinometer to the opposite side of the roller shaft. Therefore the other bearing cover needs to be removed and the inclinometer placed on the roller shaft. It is recommended to always attach the inclinometer as close as possible to the center of rotation. After completion of the second calibration measurement, the offset value is calculated and the inclinometer is ready to use. Remove the inclinometer and close the cover carefully. Now the actual inclination measurement can start. To start a new measurement, click on Measurement, New, Kiln Inclination. The first pair will be displayed as per default. The kiln drive can be added by also right clicking the mouse and selecting add drive. To add a pinion which is in front of the kiln view, click front. 
More peers can be added by right-clicking the mouse and selecting Add Peer. To measure the inclination of a kiln tyre, attach the inclinometer to the heat shield. It will protect the tool from the heat coming from the kiln. Then, attach the inclinometer carefully to the side face of the kiln tyre. Again, make sure that there are no obstacles in the way of the inclinometer. Click on the Start button or press F5 to start the first measurement. Please note that the surface has not to be straight nor machined, but magnetizable and clean enough that the magnet supplies sufficient force that the tool does not fall off or shift during the measurement. After a few revolutions, the inclination values become stable and the measurements can be stopped by clicking the stop button or by pushing F6. The inclination value is normally displayed in millimeters per meter, but it can be changed by right clicking the mouse. Now the inclination measurement of the kiln tire is finalized and the tool has to be removed. After the tire, the inclinations of the kiln rollers are taken. Depending on the access possibilities, either with the shaft center adapter on the roller axis or on the side face of the roller. Select the roller to measure and start the measurement. The inclination deviation of the roller is indicated in the sketch. Once the measurement is finalized, remove the tool and close the cover. Please be cautious when handling the sensor after removal as the magnets will be very hot. Do not touch them and do not place the sensor in the box before it has cooled down. Select the second roller to measure and start the measurement again. Continue the measurements of the other kiln pairs and on the drive to have a full picture about the inclination situation of the kiln. There are other applications possible. More information can be found in the manual or on the website of tomtomtools.com.